Hello. Happy Saturday. I keep thinking today is Sunday. It's Saturday. I am going to hop on here and go over what I was able to pick up this weekend um, from a private pick, a trip to the antique mall, and a couple garage sales. So I can show you what I got and how much I paid, kind of, how much I paid. I really, some of it I won't be able to, to tell. Um, let me see here. Let me just get the channel. There we go. Okay. So I'm just going to jump right into it. There's nobody here but me, so... It's raining out, so not too many sales today. So we did go, or I went out yesterday. Um, we went to this estate sale by appointment. I think it was um, earlier in the week we called, and we went there. I was looking for Christmas, vintage Christmas stuff. She said they, they had some. And then when we got there, we realized um, there was no Christmas. So I was like, well, there's nothing really here for me. And she goes, you know, I have a house that I'm clearing out right now that had an estate sale and um, you can come pick that if you want. So I got up bright and early Friday and went over there and it was just me. So I had a private pick. So I have three boxes of stuff that I got now. I don't know what's in those boxes, but I'll show those to you in a moment. Before I jump into that, I'm going to show you what else I picked up. Earlier in the week, I got this vintage tree skirt. Um, it is handmade. It's got the little Santa on a little train. Very cute. It is one that you just set your tree right on top of. It doesn't have a hole in the middle. I paid $1 for this tree skirt. I thought it was really cute, and it's in really good condition. It has a little jingle bells on it. Christmas trees, a little train crossing, and the little sequins. So very cute there. Um, I paid $1 for that. So that is going to be available for purchase. So if you're watching this back and you're interested in something, you can email me. Most of the items will be at an upcoming sale. All right. So I got that in a garage sale. We stopped at an antique mall and we really didn't get very much there, but I'll show you. Oh, this little wheel just fell off. You pop it back on. There we go. This is Waffles. He's Fisher Price. I loved his little face. Look at his little face. And he's just one of these little pull dogs. I thought he was so cute. I couldn't leave him behind. Um, adorable. And he kind of weeble wobbles when you pull him. He's vintage Fisher Price. I don't know the year on him. Made in USA. Doesn't, it doesn't have a date. I'm guessing he's probably um, 70s. But cute little display piece. I have the little Snoopy one and the other little one, so I didn't have him. I think I paid $12. And he does have his leather cord, little leather leash. But look at the little side eye he gives. And he's so cute. So I grabbed him from the antique mall. I'm a sucker for those old toys. And then I grabbed, well, Gina found these cookbooks here, a pack of them, the old cookbooks. I think we paid $2 for this set here, the Metropolitan Cookbook, the Specialty Selected Recipe one, and then Betty Crocker's Guide to Easy Entertaining. Those are kind of fun. Um, these... First edition, 1959 on this one. The specialty one, when I looked through, there was a bunch of old recipes and stuff put in here. Um, this one here, the year. I don't know, it's quite old though. All kinds of notes and stuff in this one, this recipe book. And the Metropolitan one, 
That was given out by Metropolitan Life. Does it have a date? Probably 20s or 30s, I'm guessing, on this one. Cool cookbooks. Um, Gino actually found those. Those are always fun. And then I found this. I've never seen this before. Alka Seltzer. And this is Avon. I couldn't believe it. So when you open it up, and it's unused, new. Hello, if you're in here watching. It has this foam little thing, and look at it has the big Alka Seltzer tabs. They're actually soaps, I believe. Yeah, fragrance soap. I thought they were pretty funny, so we grabbed those. I think we only paid like $1.50 for the Alka Seltzer. So we just got a few things there at the antique mall. We just basically went to walk around and look, and I um, actually signed up for to see about getting a booth there. So that was one of the things that we did when we went. I did go to another garage sale, and I, there wasn't very many. So I'll just show you what I got. Um, and then we'll go through that private pick that I went to. That was amazing. And to be honest, I don't know what's in the boxes because the lady was adding stuff to the boxes. Um, I think she gave me a whole box of old dowels and dowel parts. I don't know what's in there. And she loaded them in my car for me. I think she just wanted this stuff gone. I got this old Acme mixer. This Christmas box and inside are all of these, those molds that you use for different little ornaments and they're all brand new like new old stock big stacks of them in here different shapes a whole bunch of them there's like almost 50 I believe and I paid I think three dollars for the box of these at the garage sale but there's big stacks of them try I guess that's kind of like a little bit of a heart circle diamond this size round ones and then so I thought those were kind of fun for people that make the ornaments or do little crafting with them. I It was slim pickings at the sale, so I was just like, whatever fun thing I could get, I was buying. I bought this whole lot of NFL pencils that have the football teams on them here. I think some of them are older. New Orleans Saints, Dallas Cowboys, San Diego Chargers, I don't know, Green Bay Packers, so all the football teams, Denver Broncos, St. Louis Cardinals, the Cardinals, that's baseball, right? Or is that football? I don't know. Anyway, I got all the football pencils, kind of fun, a vintage Disney ruler. Some jewelry pieces, which will end up um, in probably my little grab bags that I sell. If you're in here, hello, hello, hello. I'm going to show you something really cool in a minute. This one garage sale I went to, I didn't have much hope for, and then I found some really cool stuff. So I got this owl necklace here. This will go into one of my... My grab bags, um, these earrings are really cute. Oh, Gino, you are too much. We were supposed to go to an antique mall today, but somebody's not feeling well, so I just decided to hop on and do a live rather than drag him to an antique mall with an upset tummy. You can come down here and help me if you want. We got three boxes to go through. These beautiful bead wood beads. I thought they were kind of cute. 
And then this whole bag of earrings that I bought for one particular one in there. And I'm hoping it has two, but I only see the one. So that's kind of a bummer. It looks like a lily pad. These lily pad earrings, which I really thought were beautiful. But I don't see the other one in there. So these earrings will end up in a grab bag too. Nothing exciting there, but let me show you. I stopped off at this one garage sale when I left that private pick yesterday. Oh, my hair is a mess. Um, and the guy was there and he's like, just make a pile and I'll make you a deal. And I'm like, okay. But his prices were a little high. And he's like, well, how much do you want to spend? And I'm like, $10. And he's like, I was at 35 And I'm like, um, no. That's okay. And he's, so we wheeled and dealed and we met in the middle. I paid him $20 for everything I'm going to show you. And he said that it was going towards his kid's school. So I don't know. I think I got a pretty good deal, but we'll see. You tell me. I will show you the ornaments first. I got this weird flocked Tweety Bird on a pick. <laughs> He's so weird looking. This bear, which I didn't realize he is missing some flocking off of his foot. I grabbed him. These Japan ornaments, they're like blow mold ornaments. We have Santa, so they're plastic, hollow plastic. Squishy, the stocking with the little elves. And then this one was my favorite. The little snowman. These two wooden ornaments. I thought I had three, but maybe only grabbed a two. Yeah, two dancing Santas. Two rubber balls. I don't know. They were fun. This little goober. The scotch, a little scotch tape tin. And then these are what I was excited for. And I got two, four, six, eight, wait, two, four, ten of these, ten of these Scotch brand tape dispensers, but they all have different tapes on them. This one has a red tape, but look at the metal Scotch tape things. So I got the red tape. You're going to die. Ready? There's one more with red tape like a more metallic red. This one is like, almost looks like stained glass tape on it. Look at this one. And it's a little different than the other ones too. This is the red version kind of. Hi Jamie. You can see it almost looks like stained glass or something. And it's thicker than the other ones too. This is a thicker tape. This is so cool. I, I'm loving this. This is a thicker one here. And this has got Santa on his sleigh with his reindeer. Is it upside down? No, that's right. You can see his sleigh with the reindeer. This one's got the tape on it. This one's got Santa heads on it with a pink hat. This one has like a, a holly tape on it. Aren't those cool, Susie? This one is says Merry Christmas with 
um, like an angel. The last two are my favorite. Down the chimney, Santa. It's the whole like down the chimney. It's got Santa on his sleigh going down the chimney with his reindeer. Look at that. And then this one is my absolute favorite. All these little kids like running with their, it's very 50s looking. With all their toys. How very cool is that? So I have 10 of those. So for that whole like Christmas lot, I paid $20. I don't know if that was, I don't know what the, oh wait, I got two more items in that lot. The beanie Cecil captured for the zoo. And this book's in really good condition. And this is a um, teletale book. I got that in that lot and this composer wooden box. Cigar box. So that whole lot there was $20. It's kind of creepy on the inside that guy's face. Look at the face down in the corner. Right over, where's my favorite, right here. It's like a mask or something, I don't know. Very creepy, but I, I paid $20 for that whole lot. All right, there's that. Um, oh, I'm sorry, and this piece here was in that lot too. It's this candle stick, this lady. I thought it was kind of pretty. And this part is kind of, it turns up here, so I don't know if that needs to be tightened or what. I don't know if you would turn that, but I thought it was very Art Nouveau. So that was included in that lot for $20 as well. I got this Halloween bag for a giveaway at one of my holiday, my Halloween sales. All right, so everything I'm gonna show you now came from that private pick, three boxes full of stuff. I don't know what's in here, so we're gonna look at it together. I paid $20 which is a killer deal. I think a lot of paper in here. I'm not sure. But we're going to take a look right now and see what we got. La Tola, copyright 1909, the new American Lotto. It does have the copyright date of 1909 on it there. Oh, there's a sticker on it for $30. all of these cards and then a bunch of these um, markers I guess that goes on there this is the inside of the board got like the spin thing and it has copyright 1909 here's the markers I guess we could put the lid on that and then inside of the cover. So you're gonna get the markers. Maybe it's like bingo. I don't really know. 1909, that's crazy though. It was marked $30. So we got that old Lotola, new American Lotto. Got that. Holiday Garland from Eureka. 
Looks like some Christmas bells in there. Red and green. I don't know if it's been open or if it was just the one in there. But um, some little holiday items. I did grab this guy here. It's a vintage kangaroo with her baby in her pouch. Um, she was originally marked $9. So we're going to take that tag off your tummy, ma'am. I don't see a tag for her here, but she's quite old. Her ears do bend, um, but look at her little eyes and her little baby. We had to save her, right? She's so cute. So mama kangaroo and baby. I, I grabbed this one. This is an empty Valentine box. Cute to put um, Valentines in or little pieces of ephemera or a mystery box. Um, we have a die cut here. Illustrated needlework. New York City. This is quite old. The cover just kind of came off here. Some old embroidery ephemera. Wildflowers We Should Know by Thornton Burgess. Nineteen twenty nine on this one. Royal Society hot embroidery. These are old. What year is that? Oh, that's cool. Hot iron embroidery. Transfers. Crochet art for my ladies lingerie. Hi, Yvonne. We're just doing an unboxing of all of the things that I got, and I'm not even really sure what's all in here. So it's going to be quite the surprise um, for me as well. These look like, I think I remember seeing this in the basement. These are old party hats. There's a pink one. Aren't those fun? Look at this one. They're kind of stacked inside of each other here. There's that one there, but there's another one just inside. another one of those here this one's really cool so a stack of these little party hats those are really fun the house still had a ton of stuff in it so I can just imagine what a great estate sale that was from the get-go. Um, what is this? These are all like different picture cards. Some of them are laminated, some of them aren't. So I can use these in my ephemera lots. <laughs> There's a thumb. All kinds of them. So those are kind of fun. We'll use those in ephemera lots. People can use them for junk journaling or scrapbooking. Vintage pin, pin the tail on the donkey. There's also a bread advertisement in here. Sunrich bread. Look at this. It almost feels like cloth. 
Akron the Sailfield Publishing Company, Donkey Party Muslin. It's muslin. Can't say as I've ever seen this one before. But it's not paper. It's made of muslin. And it does have its tails. Are those made of muslin too? Yep. Here's the tails. Some of them are cut out, some of them aren't. I wonder what year that is. Bunch of tails in the bag and, and with it there. So that's kind of a fun thing. It's gotta be old. I've never seen a muslin one before. This is a paper tablecloth with Snoopy on it. A year on it no year I won't open it all the way up but it's like a party maybe a birthday tablecloth and it has Snoopy which I love Snoopy that's fun going through this first box right here I have two more huge boxes right there this might be a little bit of a longer video Bulldog blue, concentrated laundry bluing. Look at that. Never heard of that before. Stir thoroughly into rinse water, extra condensed. J. Prescott. Hmm. Cute little advertising piece. A doggy on it. Group word teaching game. I think I grabbed these for ephemera. They're these cards. Fun cards here. Yes, old cleaning stuff for sure. Lots of paper stuff. A brand new measuring tape, Gino. I think I grabbed this for you. It is still on the card. Um, I paid $20 for all this stuff I'm showing you, okay? And I have three boxes of stuff. Progress reports from school. I grabbed two of these, again, for my um, ephemera lots. These are fun, fun little things to add in. Some Christmas stuff here. These little snowmen. Is there a date? It's Hallmark. I don't see a date on them, but we got these two little snowman guys here. They remind me of the perfume pins that you would open up, um, right? That would have the little perfume inside. Those two guys. And then there's this mouse. From Hallmark as well. A bag of some Christmas ornaments. Let's see what this is. These look like they're almost homemade ornaments. Bunch of snowmen. Snow lady. Another little guy here. Very fun. vintage fun ornaments. Satin ball ornament here, a blue one. That's the satin ball. It does have its hook. Can I get that off? I hate these old hooks. Okay, got it. <laughs> I remember this. Easter troll. Look at the price they had on it. Five dollars. That's crazy. Little chicky Easter troll and he hops along in his egg. I 
don't know if this is a rattle, but it's this almost celluloid bird. It's very thin plastic and he rattles. I don't think they would have a celluloid baby rattle because they would just break them very easy, but it's this beautiful bird, very thin plastic and it has stuff inside. I don't know what it is. Quizm. Quizmo. Arithmetic game. Very cool. I think I grabbed this um, for ephemeral lots as well. Oops. Bunch of markers and um, flashcards and these cool Quizmo cards. Mm-hmm. It is an old Milton Bradley game. 1958 on this one. 1958 for Quizmo. You know what I forgot to bring down? I just purchased three games today. I ran out to, we went for um, breakfast at Cracker Barrel and had pancakes. Me and my friend, and um, we stopped off at a garage sale or two on the way home, and I bought three board games. All right, this is what's left in here. Are these little cocktail pick things? I thought they were pretty cool. I just grabbed a handful of, of these cocktail picks here which are fun, but the cool ones that I grabbed are these three. I've never seen these before. They're little seals with their balls and they have a hanger. Like you could almost hang them or something. So there was only three of those, but I did grab them because I've never seen those before. All right, box number two, two of three. And it's a big one here. You can see it sitting right up here. Gino had to carry it down for me. Oh, and I bought a shelf, which is over there, and two vintage Mickey things, which are still upstairs, so. All right, this is the box. I don't really know what's in here because she was putting stuff in here. And the one below, I don't know what's in there either. She put stuff in there. That first box, I kind of knew. Um, it looks like we have an apron. This will go well with the other aprons we have hanging up there, so we have this floral one to add. This is a, it's got bric-a-brac on it. Could almost be a Christmas apron here. Now again, all of this I paid $20 for, okay? There's this one here, the single pocket. What is that? Oh, this is a little dainty one here. The pink bow. Oh, what's that? Huh. This one again. Pockets. And then. Very pretty. Lots of paper in here. We have some icicles. 1977. Never been opened. It's really cool little Christmas card. I thought it was a, um, what do you call it? Corsage. old crayons. These are really old. They're marked 45 cents and then some old chalk. A whole bag of cards. Christmas cards, all kinds of greeting cards in here. I don't know if they're new or used. This looks 
like a tea towel. They had $5 on that. Let's just take that right off. If I can get it off there. There we go. Look at that. This has never been used. It's still got the original fold in it. So linen. We walker shoes. We walkers for we walkers. Doctors prescribe prescribe we walkers. Very cute. Has the paperwork in there. That's cute. Oh my goodness. Bunch of these bank envelopes from a local from local banks back in the day. These are always fun and ephemeral lots. Cool, cool. Tip top, it's a tip top world. Oh, Ethiopia. There's like these little cards in here. Is it a game? Might be. Fun little thing. Monitor composition book. Whole bunch of old newspaper clippings in here. Gino probably will like to look through this. Just different um, like comics and stuff in this old scrapbooks. So if you're seeing anything you're interested in, also please message me. We're just getting started here. There's a bunch of paper in here. Oh, and we have some old Christmas wrapping paper that we're going to go through here in a moment. The Bisquick Cookbook. Metropolitan Cookbook. I just bought this one at the um, Antique Mall. These will all be in ephemera lots. All the, the fun old cookbooks and stuff like that. Look at Spry. Look at the back of this one. Super deluxe portable mixer. Look at this one. This one's in a plastic bag. What is special about this one here? Is it wrapping paper? This one. Oh, it's got little pull-out recipes in there. It's a coupon on the back for ordering. If you love old paper and stuff, there's some really cool stuff here. Very cool paper stuff. Casey's Theater Nightclub, um, LaGrange Street, at Toledo, Ohio. That's where we're at here. Oh, look at this. There's a picture in here. Home baking made easy. Again, with that spry on the back. Rumford Everyday Cookbook. It's a baking powder. Does this have a year? It's got it's a lithograph, so it's got to be quite old. Again, if you're just tuning in, we got three big boxes of stuff, and I paid $20. For everything. This is call your Norwalk truck line specialist. This looks to be like a little um, notebook, never used. All right, who wants to see some old wrapping paper? This looks like it's from the 50s. Should we go through some of this? I, I, I grabbed this. I remember grabbing this and setting it on the table. Wait till you see some of this wrapping paper. more of that. 
this should bring back some memories for you. There's a lot of it, Yvonne. So sit back, get yourself a beverage, and we're going to take a look here. Look at those snowmen with their little green cheeks. This is, and it's so thin. It's almost like tissue paper. And their wrapping paper back then was super thin. You can almost see through it. She had this in a box. Oh, look at this. She had this at the box and she was using it to wrap up people's stuff that they bought. Some more of that. She's like, oh, you're going to take the wrapping paper? I just used that to wrap up people's purchases. And I was like, oh my God, all this old wrapping paper. You could preserve that. You could frame it for Christmas. I know some people do like to frame it or use it in their junk journals. It's too cute to crumble up and wrap. Look at that. You know, right? The illustrations on this old paper are just great. Look at the old cars. A few pieces of that. I love it. And I got a big old stack of it here, so it's going to be a few minutes. The ring. I grabbed every little speck I could find of it. This is just pink. That can just go in the trash. That's nothing special. We got some happy birthday. Some of this gold, which is really pretty to use in your junk journals. Look at this happy birthday. I have to say my favorite is the Christmas, though. So we're going to skip through some of this happy birthday. Look at this floral. Tell me that's not 70s. We got an Easter one here. There's a lot. Still going through it. That's just pink. More of this tissue paper. The metallic. Remember the metallic? Look, at this is so 70s. This is like a nursery rhyme, Humpty Dumpty. I think we saw this one already. The pinstripe. This looks like wallpaper. <laughs> I know, right? Christmas. Here's a metallic one. Here's a metallic one with like pine cones. <coughs> Excuse me. My mouth is so dry. And the stockings. Hold on. I need to drink some more. This one has a weird texture to it. Almost like vinyl, but it's not. It's thin. Look at that. <coughs> I have a tickle in my throat. I know, right? I had to save this wrapping paper. It's just little bits of it, but I didn't care. I was like, I've taken this. Ooh, look at this groovy. How cute is this one? That's silver. These aren't too exciting. More of this metallic. Look at the snow people. Look at this. Never seen this many like variations on Christmas paper. It would be kind of fun to frame some of these and like a uh, um yeah, framed would be so cool. I'm not even showing them all. I 
and she was just using it to wrap up um, purchases. Wait till you see this one. And it's cut really weird because I think they just, I don't know what she used it for, but. Look at all the little elves. And then at the bottom, there's a bigger piece. Look at that one. And that opens up. So she was just cutting bits and pieces of it. I don't know what it can be used for, but I could not leave it behind. It's so 50s, right? So if you know somebody who um, does something cool, look at this. This is nursery rhyme. Teddy bears. Well, there's a lot more here. I tried to save as much as I could. Metallic. This looks a little newer. This is like 70s style. That. Red. This is very 70s. Happy birthday to you. Floral. There's a lot more. I'm just grabbing stacks of it. It's a metallic. Hearts. Look at this bride. For the bride. Little ballerina. Like a starburst. Look at Snoopy. Heathcliff. This looks like Holly Hobby style paper here. More Heathcliff. 70s. Piece of tissue paper. This is like really weird. 70s. This is older. This one feels older here. The floral. More Heathcliff. Clowns. Oh. These are little kids dancing in a circle. This feels like 50s. That's that foil paper. Very set 1976 here, the bicentennial something. I don't know. That's the feel I get out of that one. I feel like Michelle Comfy Cozy would love this paper. Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> That's very like comfy cozy paper, right? And this. Textured paper there. Very wedding or, you know. There's a bunch of more foil. Happy birthday with the cake. Bicentennial. We got roses. This lady had the collection of wrap wrapping paper more of that holly hobby best wishes do you know what people use this for do they use it for junk journaling or scrapbooking some old bows oh look at this piece here Sorry if I'm boring you all, but I just wanted to really look through this wrapping paper today. More of the watercolor flowers, the bicentennial. We have some 80s geese. Some foil paper. We still have a stack in here to go through. That's a little piece of that one. Lots of paper in there. Okay. More of the snowman. That's regular pink. Christmas trees, not too exciting. Panda bears. The panda bears. Foil. 
70s. These are very 90s. Little sleeping mice. Hi, Susie. Oh, paper crafting too. Oh, this one's wacky. It's so thin. It is so thin. It's like tissue paper thin. Candy canes. Christmas trees. That's pretty. Poinsettias, more snowmen. This is really cute. Oh, we do see the next one. Santa playing with like toys. Look at this. Look at these snow people. <gasps> this one's cool. Look at Santa riding on a candy cane. More of a little snowman. Here's some little ladies, little kids. This one is really neat. Santa playing with a train. And then the last little piece is a little choir. So I grabbed all of that Christmas paper. Now this box is still full, half full, but we're gonna go through it kind of fast. There's an old bow, lots of old photos, tissue paper, because why not? I use it. We'll use that. Lots of old photos, postcards, photos. There's some Valentines in here. Oh, look at this one. Golf overlooking the Golden Gate. It says buy war bonds, 1943. South Pacific, Guadalajara arrival, 1943, a bunch of like different um, pictures of people maybe in the military, postcards, a bunch of military pictures, Valentines and cards, a bunch more photos. Again, everything I'm showing you, I paid $20 for, okay? Oh, thank you. Look at it. He brought me down a Coke. You want to pull up a seat, hon? Okay. I'm still pulling paper out. Look at Happy Halloween. Valentine's cards, pictures. The old Kodak, um photo thing yeah I'm the I have a ton of ephemera so I'll be doing some um ephemera lots for sale it's sad that they're just getting rid of all the photos I got a big stack of those older photos in the frames right All right. Flinch card game. Oh, this I thought was cool. Red Devil for Halloween. Yeah, he brought me down a pop. Wasn't that nice? This says Flinch card game, early 1900s. A whole bunch of those cards. 
I mean, is I didn't know if this was going to go in the trash or I didn't know how much she was going to charge me either. So I didn't even grab like a whole lot because I wasn't sure how much it was going to be. So I about died when she said it was only $20. Oh, look at these old um, checker markers. They're, they're wood. These I can put in my little mystery lots too. Those are fun. Are you guys still staying with me? Or are you bored? Are you totally bored? Traveling Bakelite poker set with Arden playing cards. Okay, let's take a look at this. We'll take, it says, um, okay, so this pulls out somehow. It's a traveling set. Oh, look at these. I'm going to tilt you down a little bit, okay? Oh, good. Hi, Susan. This says Bakelite. Are these Bakelite? I don't know. It's in this little case here. And then the cards are right here. Playing cards. A little travel poker set. It's old. Traveling Bakelite poker set with art and playing cards when it's marked. I'll just keep that with it so that helps me locate it. A vintage jar. I really like this cold cream jar because it has the graphic on there. They had it marked at $3. Let's just take that $3 tag off. We don't need to see that. Because, I mean... That's crazy. Kara Gnome. Oh, a little game piece fell out. Kara Gnome cold cream. Is this what it says on the bottom? But look at the illustration on there. There's no lid, but it's this old milk glass and it still has the paper label. How cool is that? We still got a lot in here, guys. And then there's one box under this one. This says flinch. Isn't that the same as that other one? Ooh, this one's old. Yeah, it's a red set. It's an old set. So we'll probably use these in ephemera. Unless somebody wants the whole thing. Um, whoops. What that is. I don't even know what flinch is. Some sort of a card, old card game. Oh, another photo. Here's a bunch of game pieces here. Holy moly, I didn't even notice the box that this is in. Hold on one second. That's so cool. So it's full of all these old game pieces. And looks like there's glass squares in there too. So I don't know what that's about. Ugh. Can I get that off there without ruining it? Oh, they put tape on here. Hate it when they do that. But look at it's a Fanny Farmer candy box. Now it does have a piece of tape here. I'm gonna have to use my um my stuff to get that off safely. But this is full of game pieces. Very cool. Cards. Ace Window Shade Company. Just a little ephemera. Playing cards. Kind of don't look like what they're supposed to be. Those are pretty. Look at these two. These are like in Bakelite cases, what looks to be Bakelite, very deco looking. No worries, thank you. It's got the little directions in there too. Fun. If you're just joining me, 
this is um, unboxing a an estate sale. I went to, well, it was after the estate sale. They let me come in and private pick. And everything I got, I paid $20 for everything. This is another deck of those cards, the old playing cards. And they have the directions in there. So that's kind of fun. Hi, how are you doing? I missed your sale on Thursday, Miss Ma'am, because I had to work. But I watched some of it on my break. I watched it back. I don't get my break until like, you know, after two in the morning. So you were, you were done by that time. <laughs> well, you need to come visit me. Okay. And we will go out picking. I thought these were really cool little index things. It looks like a little book. They're index tabs. Sometimes this stuff just like falls on my lap. I mean, we went to go look at stuff. They didn't have anything. And the lady's like, oh, but I'm cleaning out a house and I just need to get rid of everything. And I was like, okay. All right. I know I wrapped something up in here. I don't remember what it was, but I think it's something breakable. Um, yeah, I don't remember who makes her. There is a signature on the bottom. I think it's Joseph. I think this is one of those little Joseph girls. And she's got her little puppy. But it is signed on the bottom, but there's no, no tag. She's in beautiful condition. I grabbed her out of the little hutch. And then the, I wrapped her in this towel, which is kind of funny. It's the bowler's weeping towel. Isn't she so cute? I'm running out of room on this table, girl. Um, we have some Christmas things. More tissue paper, because I can use that when I'm wrapping up all the goodies. <sighs> we went to um, Cracker Barrel this morning, me and my friend, and had pancakes. That's what they had on this jar of marbles. I know nothing about marbles. Couldn't tell you if these are old, new, whatever. Oh, that one kind of looks like it might glow. But look at the marshmallow cream jar. I thought that is really cute. But again, I don't know anything about marbles. I don't know if these are old or new, but I have a jar of them now. I grabbed the pumpkin guy. He would have been on a pick. We can do him in our Christmas sale. This is um, a little Santa. I think he's he moves his mouth. His mouth is supposed to move. There he goes. He's a little pin or a clip. Don't know. Ugh. Vintage Game of Flags. Ugh. I use that tape. This was priced at $12. Look at the back. That's kind of cool, right? I know. Love the little book that would be great in a curio shelf. Oh, is it? Well, you definitely need to come visit me. I am in Ohio. We're right on the Michigan line. Michigan's five minutes that way. So it's kind of fun because you can go, you know, we can take you around to Ohio, but we can also take you up into Michigan as well. Um, I got the author's cards here. What? Oh, gosh. Those are those little toys in there. I forgot to tell you they they talk. People at the post office are going to be surprised with that. I don't know what this is. 
craft patterns. Oh, it says Merry Christmas. Some sort of a craft pattern there. I don't know. Maybe a stencil or something? I have no idea on that. Now, I grabbed a whole bunch of these magazines from my friend because she loves JFK. And so they had all these look magazines and life magazines on JFK. So these are all going to my friend, Michelle. She would kill me if I gave those to anybody else. So all of those are going to go to Michelle. And Michelle, if you're watching that, you can come pick those up. Those are for you, you girl, okay? What the heck is this? Nineteen eighty-seven Ruby's costume. It's a um, plush animal face. But look at the back of it. <laughs> That's a little scary. More tissue paper. Yes. We got happy. holidays this is a disney um wall hanging looks like they had seven dollars on that beauty and the beast happy holidays vintage 50s 1950s mid-century serving tray They had 15 on this. Gino, didn't we just see one of these at the antique mall? And I told you that I saw a different one. Yeah. Well, I found this one. She had this one in the scrap pile. Well, you thought the mall was 30 bucks. Yeah. So this was going to go to scrap and I grabbed it. It's a little too big to ship. But if somebody comes to visit and they want it, I just didn't want to see it get smushed into scrap. So we're going to set that back there. It's mid-century for goodness sakes. All right, we have some turkey die cut, pumpkin die cut. Let me lift you up there a little bit. Oh, this was in the cabinet, and this said it was Bakelite something. There was a tag for it. It is this elephant on a stand, and I think they said this was Bakelite. Yeah, I grabbed it. I thought it was really cool. I think they had like 30 or $40 on it. It's metal. Again, all of this, $20. Some more Christmas ornaments. Felt things. This is the sugar bear ornament. It glows in the dark and spins. Look, they had seven dollars on that. Seven dollars. You're not gonna sell that for seven bucks. You're lucky to get a buck for it. But he's still sealed in his package. Take a cotton swab and 409 wipe it across anything you think might be Bakelite. The 409 should change color without damaging the piece. Okay. Well, I, we have a few things on the table that could be Bakelite. I might have to have Gino do that. Who's making work for me? What? Who's making work for me? Ha! A bunch of these little Valentine picks here. If I can get them all out of this box. Some more die cuts down in here. We have the cat mask. A pumpkin. Scarecrow. What this What's up? Well, I originally it was nine hours and when I was ten hours. So oh. I have to go check. 
some little ladybug thumbtacks. So, so far I'm remembering a lot of this stuff. There's a couple items that don't look familiar. Um, a litho, 1977 litho. Oh, look at that. You see that? I can't see it. 1977 Litho, Santa, and a reindeer. Mm. What the heck? Let me make sure I got all oh, my little stuff. There's some weird pocket in here in the bottom of this box. Looks like it's supposed to like absorb moisture or something. Throw that out of the way. Okay, so most of this next box, I think, is supposed to be like dolls and stuff like that. And there is a big creepy doll in here. Oh, and some more aprons. That looks like a Christmas apron. There's another Christmas apron. My gosh, I'm going to have to have just an apron sale. Oh, man. A vintage little Scotty dog here. Look at him. He's so soft. Doesn't smell. Look at him. Frame that Santa, huh? Fourth of July ones. <laughs> I wasn't going to tell him it was you. Now he's going to go upstairs and check, right? I'm so glad you're feeling better. Okay, this EG walking doll. She has like, I don't know if you wind her up or what, but she is fully jointed. Look at the old barrettes she has in her hair. But she's a walking doll. E.g. Her hair does need some, some help. But if you collect dolls, um, if you know anything about this, she's available. Chocolate is not going to like her being down here. Yeah, I bet. I bet. That is no fun. We're going to just lay her right there. You just lay right there. I don't know what's going on. There's another huge dowel in here. Oh my God. F and B large Dow. <gasps> Her eyes just turned and looked at me. Don't, I'm being nice. Did you see her eyes turn that way? Her eyes go side to side. Look, you be nice, okay? I gave you a new home. We're going to get you a new home. True. I'll be nice to you. You be nice to me. Don't you come crawling up those stairs tonight. My goodness. So, um, she's quite big. Yeah, yeah, her eyes go side. Did you see him? Probably can't see him. You're going to show him your eyes, okay? Can you see how she's turned looking to the side? You can't. See how they go side to side? We're going to lay you over here, okay? You just sit right there. She closed her eyes. You stay there, okay? There's a lot of um, dolls in this box. And some of them look like they've had a rough life. All right. Up next, we have this lady here. I'm taking that sticker off. 
Her little butt cheeks are sticking out. But she's got like a ribbon that says Tobermory Canada. She's a Canadian doll. Let's let's pull that dress up on you a little bit, okay? There we go, there we go. So she's so you stay there. Don't you don't have to move. Um, we have what looks to be like a Peter Pan doll. Look at, look at his little tushy. <laughs> oh my goodness. He's fully jointed. Um, huh? Uh, huh? Oh, and he's closing his eyes, taking a nap. Um... Okay, she is missing an arm. Okay, we're gonna just take that sticker right off the back of you, ma'am. She has her little dress on. It's got a little cross on the front like she was a nurse, but you know, she's experienced some trauma in her life. She does have, well, she has no arms and that's okay. That is okay. She has her arm. It's just no longer attached. All right. This is her cousin who is missing the leg. Okay. He still has his wooden shoe on his foot there. Okay. But he has no leg. And she has no arms. And... She was in the war, and he survived the war. I, I think it would be better if we hooked your pant leg up like this, because you got your wood. <laughs> I mean, he looks like he's got some age to him, for sure. Let's keep going here, because we've got a bunch of them in here. Okay, well, this guy... He's in a Ziploc bag, okay? He has seen some things. This is his body. I don't know. He's been decapitated. We do have an arm in here and a head. And he's missing an eye. But here's his hand, and he's got a nice mustache. It comes with his body right here. So we're just going to keep him together in a Ziploc bag. We need to find him a horse, right? Well, there might be a horse part in here. We'll see. We'll keep him in the Ziploc bag, keep him all together. Okay. Wow. This... What is this? This is a weird little um, doll here in this dress. She does have her legs. I'm not sure what's happening here, but it's this weird jointed doll. But she has on this big dress. Okay. She has both of her arms and her feet. She's little tiny. She's a baby. She's a baby doll. Okay. Oh my goodness, you guys. This fella has both hands and both feet. However, he don't have any eyeballs. He has no eyes, but he has his limbs. He's just missing. And his head is separated. Each one of these dolls has seen trauma in their life, okay? I'm not sure what to say about this doll here. I have no idea what this is. Does this talk? What? <gasps> what the hell? That scared the shit out of me.
God bless mommy and God bless daddy. We're going to set her down right here. That scared the bejesus out of me because I didn't know it made noise. It gets worse, you guys. I think I found that lady's hat. The nurse. I think this goes to her. The nurse, right? All right. Oh, dear Lord. Porcelain doll. Take that off. This one's eyes move. It's a little creepy. Just going to say porcelain doll with nylons and garter. She's a garter belt on. Okay. Be prepare yourselves. Her eyes do move. Now, she has <laughs> she's nylons and a garter belt. Not only that, I think this one may make noise as well because she feels like she has something inside of her. She's got some sort of like a voice box or something here. I don't know. I'm, I don't have any words right now, but she does have these little nylons hooked to her garter belts. There's more. Again, everything I showed you, $20, okay? This one is in pieces here. Oh my God. I don't know whose arms. Oh, I found the young man's um, leg with the wooden shoe attached. So maybe we can reattach it. I did find an arm. So maybe we can reattach it. Now this little lady here, she is kind of cute. She's in pieces. Looks like we have all of her pieces here. She's had a rough go. Um, she had a rough go. She kind of looks like she goes to the side too, doesn't she? This is her head. This is her little torso. So that sits on here. This says... something. I can't read what it says. This is her torso. She's got her little legs in her underpants and both of her arms. Both of her little leggies with her little shoes on and then her little arms. Now this hat goes to, I bet you that big doll over there. I don't think it goes with that walking one. Good Lord. That lady wanted to get rid of the um, creepy dolls because she put them all in this box. There's another one down here. Oh, I know. Anybody collect dolls? Or if you're interested, let me know. Now, this one is kind of cute. Okay, this is one that I would probably buy. She does not have any eyeballs. I can hear them rattling around in there, but she doesn't have any in her sockets. She's carrying a little book that says Joe's book.
I think her face is kind of cute. She looks like, you know, I don't know where she's from. I can hear the eyeballs in there. Doesn't sound good. But she's st she um, has no eyes in her head. Little women, that's what I was thinking of too, right? She has her little book here. I don't know. And that, my friends, is the last of it. That is everything that I got for $20. I don't know what to do with all these dolls. I have no idea. <laughs> Great. Yeah, you see how we took a turn here, right? I think I'm gonna put all of these dolls back into this box and that big one's not gonna be happy. She's, she freaks me out the most because her eyes move side to side and she, I don't think is very happy with me right now, but let's just grab you here and bring you up, okay? Oh yeah, her eyes. You know, you're a little creepy, okay? It's all right. You're just freaking me out a little bit, okay? I think this goes on your head here. Tell me I'm wrong. And her eyes go side to side. We're going to put her in the box first. You're going to sit right down in there, okay? I want to be nice to her because I don't really want her crawling up these stairs tonight. Uh, coming to pay me a visit. There you go. You sit in there, okay? We're going to put your sister in there, the one that walks. Because she's, oh, she's out. Okay. Listen. You hang out in there, too. There we go. There we go. We're going to put you in here. Welsh man. Chocolata. She's not happy. We're going to put you down in there too. And then you with your little garter belts, you're going to go in next, okay? So if anybody knows anything about dolls, creepy ones, let me know because we have quite a few of them here that need to go to a new home because one is enough for me. I got my hands full of Chuck Letta. Yes, I do. We'll just set all these guys back in here along with the little stuffed dog. Some of them can be used. I know, gosh, that scared me. I don't get creeped out sometimes, but that one doll's eyes is a little creepy. And then I have Gino's sister's, all of her dolls, bride dolls. So I have those I have to find homes for. Um, so we're just going to put all of these dolls back in here. With the little kangaroo there and all of the linens right on top. How about that? Well, I'm so glad you all joined me today to go through these boxes because, good Lord, there was a lot of stuff in here. Lots of linens and ephemera and just really cool stuff. The wrapping paper is probably my favorite, which is so weird because it just scraps the wrapping paper, right? But um, I, I thought it was really cool. I have to find places to put all this stuff now. I'm at my limit capacity-wise. So we did go check about getting um, a booth at the antique mall. So 
so we'll see. There's a pretty good wait list, I think. So it may take some time to get in there, but I'll show you one more thing I bought. I do need to go grab it real quick. One second while I grab it. for this. Let me scoop this doll box out of the way. Ooh. Can you see the little shelf here? It's got little vintage like 1950s things and then a toy box in the bottom. And the little shelves. I thought it was so cute. So if I have a um, antique booth, I'm going to use this in the antique booth to put stuff on, maybe books and stuff like that. I thought it was really sweet for you're turning into the doll sanctuary. No, I'm not. Had a fire and never reopened. Aww. Well, you need to come visit. I don't know how this happens to me, but now I have all this stuff and no room for it down here in this huge basement. So I'm definitely going to have to sort um, and figure out where I'm going to put all of this stuff. But my other favorite thing, in case you weren't here, did you see all the scotch tape tins I got? With the tape on it, I don't know if you were in here for that part, but look at this. Would y'all look at this? These scotch tape tins. Look at the little kids. Sienna Claus. I got 10 of them. So cute. <laughs> so some of the Christmas stuff will be in our next Christmas sale. Um, the ephemera stuff we're gonna do in our ephemera lots, and then I'll use some of this stuff for our fun mystery grab bags and stuff like that. So it should be a lot of fun. Uh, but now I gotta find a spot to put all of this stuff. So I won't keep you any longer. Thanks for sticking with me while I unboxed everything here. Um, Still don't know what some of this stuff is. I guess we'll slowly go through it here. But we'll definitely... Oh, look at this. Where are you going, Bubba? Look at... How cute is that? Yeah, I could hide a doll in somebody's package, huh? I'm sure they'd love that. <laughs> Is there multiple pictures in here? Yes. Hi, Deborah. Some really cool pictures. So we'll add all these into ephemera lots as well. Make it kind of fun. And these are old. Negatives, I guess. I don't know. Anywho, thank you so much. I think we, we're getting some rain here. So we were supposed to go out on the boat and watch the fireworks tonight. Um, but I don't think that's going to happen. The weather's a little yucky out. 
So we may be going over uh, to someone's house and playing cards and having some ribs. So that, oh, look at, I found a random arm. That goes there. So we'll probably do like a little cookout and play cards with family and just hang out. Um, there was a big flea market today. We didn't get to go because again of the, the weather. So. Oh, Gino just brought down two of the other things I bought. They are, if you know anything about these, let me know. It's this talking Mickey. He's got his tape in, in the thing back there. He talks, um, his mouth moves. We don't have C batteries for him, so we weren't able to test him, but he's super cool. And then his buddy, Goofy. And he talks too. He's got the little thing. I think they talk back and forth to each other. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but we have these two fellas here. Goofy. He's trying to climb over the edge. Gino, you should see all the creepy dolls in there. They're saying, you know, Chuckletta has friends now. They're pretty creepy. Chuckletta has no friends. Chuckletta has no friends. Maybe for the holidays, we'll have to stick her in somebody's box. <laughs> oh my gosh. Up on the roof, huh? My goodness. Chuck Letta has Gino. That's her only friend. I might need it to put the stuff in because there's so much of it here. I didn't plan on buying this much stuff. Yeah, I'll probably just put some of the stuff in it for now just to clear off the table. All right, everybody. Thank you so much and have a happy fourth. We'll be back possibly on Monday. We'll see. Are we going to be here Monday? Okay. Watch for um, an ad on Instagram. If I'm going to do a sale on Monday, have a great weekend and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye, everyone.